Hey there, Marvel Squaddies. Today we're diving headfirst into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And trust me, you won't want to miss this one. Kang the Conqueror is making waves, and we've got the inside scoop on what's going down. Rumors, replacements, and a plot twist that's sure to shock. Stick around because we're about to unravel the mystery behind Kang's fate in the MCU. Ready? Let's swing into action. What's happening, Marvel lovers? It's Spider, your friendly neighborhood Marvel enthusiast. And today we've got some major news on Kang the Conqueror's future in the MCU. But before we jump into the chaos, make sure you're subscribed to stay up to date on all things Marvel. Now, let's get into it. If you've been scrolling through your Marvel news feed, you've probably caught wind of Jonathan Major's exit from the MCU. But fear not, true believers, because Marvel Studios has a game plan. Today, we're breaking down the latest report that spills the beans on Kang's future. So, suit up, hit that like button, and let's swing into the heart of the Marvel drama. Hot off the press is a report detailing Marvel Studios' commitment to keeping Kang the Conqueror in the MCU, despite Jonathan Major's departure. According to Deadline's Justin Kroll, our go-to Marvel source, the studio isn't dropping the character from the storyline. But here's the kicker, they're not in a rush to find Major's replacement. Kroll emphasizes that Marvel Studios is taking their sweet time to carefully consider potential contenders to fill Kang's colossal shoes. So, if you've been anxiously waiting for the next big Kang announcement, Kroll suggests you might want to take a breather. This raises questions about the future of Kang in the MCU, and how this decision might impact upcoming storylines. Now, let's address the elephant in the room, or should I say, the potential Kang in the room. After Jonathan Major's exit, names like John Boyega and John David Washington floated around, but a new contender has entered the ring, Coleman Domingo. The Fear the Walking Dead and the Color Purple star has been rumored as a frontrunner for the Kang role, with some fans and even fellow Marvel stars backing him up. But, and it's a big but, Kroll clarifies that while Domingo is in the mix, there's no confirmed frontrunner yet. In the Marvel rumor mill, Domingo's name has been buzzing, and we'll explore whether he's the right fit for Kang as we navigate through this maze of speculation. Could Coleman Domingo be the face of Kong in the MCU? It's a question that has Marvel fans buzzing, and we'll break down the possibilities. Let's rewind a bit to understand the stakes here. Kang was poised to be a Thanos-level baddie in the MCU, with the next two Avengers films meant to center around this time-traveling menace. Jonathan Major's portrayal as Kang, Victor Timely, and He Who Remains garnered widespread praise, setting the stage for an epic showdown. However, Major's conviction led to a domino effect. The next Avengers film lost its original title, The Kang Dynasty, sparking rumors that Doctor Doom might step into the role of the MCU's ultimate villain. We'll explore the potential ripple effects of Kang's exit and what it means for the overarching narrative of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. What does this mean for the grand plans Marvel had for Kang as a central antagonist? How might this impact the next Avengers films, and what new directions could the MCU take in the absence of Kang's original setup? Beyond the superhero suits and blockbuster films, there's a personal side to this story. Jonathan Majors has spoken out about his Marvel departure and conviction, expressing his sadness at being axed from the MCU while maintaining his innocence regarding the alleged incident with his ex-girlfriend. As Majors faces legal proceedings and a potential prison sentence, the fallout extends beyond the MCU. His Disney Searchlight Pictures film, Magazine Dreams, faces uncertainty, and he's lost a role as NBA legend Dennis Rodman in the upcoming biopic, 48 Hours in Vegas. It's a Marvel-sized storm in both his professional and personal life. We'll delve into Majors' response, the impact on his career, and how this personal turmoil might have contributed to the re-evaluation of Kang's presence in the MCU. And there you have it, Marvel fans, the latest scoop on Kang the Conqueror's fate in the MCU. The rumor mill is spinning, contenders are in the ring, and the Marvel Cinematic Universe is keeping us on our toes. Before we wrap up, make sure to swing into action. Hit that subscribe button, comment below with your Kang theories, give us a thumbs up if you're excited about the MCU's future, and don't forget to share this video with your fellow Marvelites. As always, thanks for swinging by. Until next time, true believers.